this is Danelle Flanders for Paper Tray Inks Make It Monday video and today I thought I would try something a little bit different and talk about a particular style. Um, lately I've been drawn to a style that my friend coined uh, Modern Whimsy. It's very layered, um, colorful, different things peeking out from behind each other and oftentimes I'm inspired by scrapbooking and I've noticed um, a big trend in scrapbooking that's very uh, layered and detailed and I thought maybe it would be fun to share some tips with you on how to achieve that. Um, before we get started, I just wanted to tell you that it, uh, for more inspiration on this style, I've set up uh, a Pinterest board on Pinterest. If you go to www.pinterest.com slash dflanders, you'll see a board on, on my page there that's called Modern Whimsy, and this will show you tons more samples uh, if you're still a little bit confused at the end of this video and you want to see a little bit more about this style. So Modern Whimsy for me is very light and airy, yet it has a lot of color and pattern and detail. Um, so I've started with a white background and then I've chosen three or four colors and patterns that I thought worked well together. Um, I also see a lot of vellum lately in this style. Uh, it contributes to the light airy look. And um, of course little details that you can add over the top or little details that can peek out of the back. So you'll want to grab three or four colors, patterns, die cuts maybe that you have in your stash. Um, just make a little combination of products that you think would, will work well together. So let me explain a little bit about how I made the card. Um, first I started with an 8.5 by 11 sheet of white card stock cut in half. And then you'll want to score the center. And I just use my paper trimmer to score. Um, fold it to create your card base. I've gone ahead and used the Leered Postmarks Holiday sentiment on my card base. And I just used um, True Black ink and stamped it down here in the corner. I knew I wanted to leave a lot of room over here for the layering and the patterns. The next thing I did was I chose a few colors and things I wanted to work with. Um, I cut a piece of vellum with one of the half and half dies. Then I'll make two little paper strips with the, um, this is Sweet Blush um, pattern paper from Paper Tree Ink. And this is Pure Poppy Pattern Paper by Paper Tree Ink. And I just cut a couple of little strips. Um, to create the notched ends, I just trimmed in the center. And then just trimmed up from the corners. And I did that on both patterns. Just makes a really quick banner shape. Okay, so then you have your three pieces that you're going to use on the card. The next thing I do is just kind of lay everything out as to where I think I might want it to be. Um, the red is a little bit too tall, so I'm going to trim that down just slightly. And maybe the pink one a little bit too. Okay. Next I'm going to stamp um, a few of these little holly or mistletoe stamps onto the vellum and I'm going to emboss them with white embossing powder yeah. from Holiday Button Bits. I'm just going to ink up a portion of it with Versamark ink and stamp it right here at the bottom of the half and half die. And then I'm going to take some white embossing powder and sprinkle it over the top. And you can take a little paintbrush and just get all of these little excess um, pieces of embossing powder off of your tag. So I will go emboss that and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's my finished half and half die that's been stamped and embossed with holiday button bits. And um, when you go to layer everything on your card, um, you don't want everything to be perfectly straight. You want it to be kind of offset and whimsical. 
Um, so I placed the banners a little bit offset like that. And then I have some washi tape and I just took a little piece of washi tape, little strip. This was from one of my kits that I got in the mail. Um, and I had a cute little chevron pattern that I just trimmed that into a banner shape to match the other banners. So you'll just want it to peek out a little bit from your vellum there. And then we will move on to the snowflakes to um, house our big piece sentiment. I've gone ahead and cut a damask snowflake uh, out of Aquamist cardstock. And I was planning on putting that up at the top here. And then this is from the one-liners dies. As you can see, um, it works well on a straight line. But you can also just go ahead and trim the little ends off and you can use it as a word on um, anywhere on your card so I thought it would be go well with the banners if I placed it vertically and then I kind of felt like I wanted one more thing to tuck underneath um, so I cut a fancy flake from the new fancy flake dies and I'm just going to layer that right under the blue snowflake. And again, I'm just going to off-center it a little bit so it's not perfect. Just more fun and whimsical. And then I have these um, gold shiny stars from Studio Calico. And I grabbed one of the larger ones and just placed it right on the edge of the piece. And then another small one down here by my stamped image and that's it. I'll go ahead and ad adhere it all down. One last detail that I wanted to add before I adhered this snowflake down is to add a little bit of pure poppy um, twine and I just tied it right onto the snowflake there. I'm gonna adhere that right about there. Trim this off a little bit. And I just tied it right onto the snowflake. Oops. Need to add a little bit more adhesive. I pull those uh, twine just to make the bow a little bit smaller. Let me add one more little adhesive dot. So I don't want to cover up the sentiment too much, even though you can see through the vellum. So I'll scoot it over a little bit. And I'll go ahead and trim, make these a little bit shorter. My scissors are a little dull. <laughs> okay. And there we have the finished card. So for your challenge, for the modern whimsy style, I want you to try to choose uh, three or four patterns and colors of paper to use together. Um, you don't have to make banners. You can use any dies, frames, um, tags, any sort of shapes that you want and just layer them. Uh, vellum is awesome for this style. Um, and think light and airy. And don't forget to visit my Pinterest page for more inspiration. Thanks for watching. I hope you have fun with this this style. Bye.